Good day to the audience around the world. Today is Monday, February 28th, 2022, and it's now 11.30 p.m. in Taiwan. I'm Fiona Zhang Xinfang. Welcome to the weekly report of the World New Religion, Taiwan Wei Xin Shen Jiao, the sagely teachings of the heart at Wei Xin TV station. On behalf of the Great Jade Emperor, Chan Ji Shan Wei Xin Shen Jiao, Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi, embarked on the heavily royal progress around Taiwan during Chinese New Year holiday. Many believers and virtuous fellows gathered to converse with Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi. Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi blessed the public, gave instructions to virtuous fellows, and encouraged everyone to recite scriptures and sutras. With the power of Wang Chan Lao Zu, and by reciting the scriptures and sutras, the spirit of the Mara of the Place may be transcended. Let's listen to Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi's teachings. Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi of Chan Shan Wei Xin Shen Jiao continued to make New Year's visit at each branch temple, bringing with blessings and expostulation. Recently, branch temples in the north of Taiwan would be scheduled. Starting from Bada Branch Temple, host Master Yuan Ping burned incense and led Wei Xin Virtus cultivators standing in two lines and clapping to welcome Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi. Then Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi led Wei Xin Virtus cultivators worshipped Wang Chan Lao Zu and gave some encouraging words to them. Also, Grand Master Hun Yuan Chan Shi encouraged Wei Xin Virtus cultivators that Buddha guides pristine people. Even though we should learn prestige like tiger roar not being stuck by the outside environment constraints, so that we can achieve the outcome after practicing Dharma and then benefit families, friends, pristine people, and so on with more smooth and safe lives from the beginning to the end. Afterwards, Grand Master Huyun Chan Shi visited Zhongli Branch Temple. We saw Wei Xin Virtuous cultivators clapped with people standing in line to welcome Grand Master Huyun Chan Shi. With flowers, fruits, the galaxy, and burnt incense worshipped, Wei Xin Virtuous cultivators wished Grand Master Huyun Chan Shi to be healthy. Everyone spent grateful time together while worshipped to Wang Chan Lao Zu. Then Grand Master Huyun Chan Shi elucidated that. Lao 他天神慢了一点点周旋的但是难免还有一些小漏资
，那么是也是我们全面的因果业力啊所引起的。但是这个会平安，各位放心。天恩煞神是有因果业报，因因果果果果因因的业报，在从庚子年武汉肺炎引起世界那么多国家的恐慌业报。这个是上天在警告人类，可是人类只紧张的在预防，但是我没有看到。还有人说，这个是在警告人类要有爱，不要再发生战争。不要再发生啊强的用武力来侵害他人国家的人类生命，没有啊，看到这种反省和忏悔啊，唯独台湾最平安。台湾历史以来都是在被欺负，被外来的民主国家啊在欺负。台湾从来没有去侵略到其他国家。Grandmaster Hui Chai Shi pointed out that the epidemic will ease very soon if human beings fall off love and away from grudges. We can easily see Taoyuan International Airport from Zhongli Branch Temple, which is a gate to protect the country. Master Yuan Rong and Wei Xin Virtue's cultivators of Zhongli Branch Temple are like guardian angels protecting the gate locally. In order to invite the nine bodhisattvas of opening southern heavily radiantly arrived at the Zhongli Branch Temple, Master Yuan Rong led Wishing Virtues cultivators to chant the heavenly virtue scripture of immortal Master Gui Gu every early morning, and stuck nine burnt incense in the heavenly Lord incense container, which the layout can be recognized as the affirmation from Buddha. To the public or to the plague, with disasters eliminated, grievances resolved, and no war, we encourage the people getting together to chant the heavenly virtue scripture of immortal Master Gui Gu and credit the merits for the benediction to worship Wang Chan Lao Tzu and the thirty-three heavenly kings of Southern Heaven. On 19th, Grandmaster Hu Yun Chan Shi arrived at Hebei Zhongshan Branch Temple. He advised to host Master Yuan Ji. And Weixing Virtues cultivators that Taipei Zhongshan Branch Temple was like a guardian angel protecting the estuary of Danshui River locally. The epidemic of Gongzi year started from here at New Taipei City. In this way, Taipei Zhongshan Branch Temple should also burn nine incense and stuck them in the Heavenly Lord incense container to worship like Zhongli Branch Temple. Then the epidemic will gradually be eased and Taiwan will be safe. Grandmaster Hu Yun Chan Shi, on behalf of the Lord of Heaven, visiting branch temples as tour, giving instructions to waiting virtuous cultivators, bringing blessings to the public, and benefiting people with satisfaction follow the Dharma etiquettes. Waiting report. On February seventeenth at one a.m. Taiwan time, which was February sixteenth, six p.m. French time. Professor Bernadette Ligasella of University of Bordeaux invited Director Fiona Yuanxin of the Research and Development Center for Religious Affairs of Weixin Shenzhou to a two-hour online meeting focusing on the religious culture of Weixin Shenzhou. Director Fiona Yuanxin 
met extensive exchanges with international religious scholars regarding Wei Xin Shen Jiao's education, cultural activities, branch temples, and representative religious constructions. Take a look. In the early morning of February 17th, Master Yuan Xing, the Director of Research and Development Center for Religious Affairs of Chan Jishan Wei Xin Shen Jiao, accompanied by Master Yuan Qing, the Director of Wei Xin TV Station, and Manager Li Junpei, attended online talk with foreign scholars to expound on Wei Xin Shen Jiao. This online event was held in Paris by Professor Bernadette Rigaud Silder of Bordeaux University. It started at the same time, 6 p.m. in Paris on February 16th, and 1 a.m. in Taiwan on February 17th, where Professor Bernadette presented PowerPoint slide in French first, then had discussions in English with more than 10 foreign scholars from different countries. In these slides, Professor Bernadette introduced Wei Xin Shen Jiao Chinese United Ancestors Worship Ceremony, Wei Xin Shen Jiao Headquarters Chan Ji San Xian Fu Si Temple, Wei Xin Shen Jiao Ba Gua Holy City, Da An Si Branch Temple, Ilan Branch Temple, and Taichung Branch Temple. Professor Bernadette also provided analysis on the essence of Wei Xin Shen Jiao and its ritual etiquette. Professor Bernadette was very impressed by Grandmaster Hun Yuan Chan Shi's majestic virtue of the unity of heaven and man, scale of Chinese United Ancestors Worship Ceremony, Southern Ritual, and vibrant virtuous cultivators while visiting Wei Xin Shen Jiao. She once published academic papers on Wei Xin Shen Jiao in the International Journal of Sassanur based on a sociologist's point of view. During online talk, Master Yuan Xing also responded to the questions of foreign scholars, including Wei Xin Shen Zhao's Dharma view, cosmology view, temple architecture, ancestors' worship ceremony, and so on. On behalf of Wei Xin Shen Zhao, Master Yuan Xing thanked Professor Bernadette Rigo Sallard and Professor Angelique Sacrosse, who organized and hosted the event. Master Yuan Xing also thanked participants, including Professor Massimo Intervene, the founder of Sassanur, Professor Eileen Barker of London School of Economics and Political Science, and other foreign scholars. This online talk was completed successfully in the early hours of February 17th. Wei Xing Report, Taizhong. Take a break. We will come back soon. Coming up next is the latest Dharma affairs of the headquarters Chan Ji Shan Xian Fu Si Temple. Wei Xin Virtuous Fellows are preparing for the coming Ren Yin Year 2022 Lanterns of 72 Heavenly Masters. Now we are walking you through the history and the key points of the Dharma service. As you visit the headquarters Xian Fu Si Temple, you'll find lanterns of 72 heavenly masters illuminating all the way along the sky stairs to the recesses of Papagata Garden. Also, lanterns of 72 heavenly masters will come into sight as you enter Wei Xin Shen Jia's main altar. Every year, with predestinate virtuous cultivators offerings, the lanterns of 72 heavenly masters are lit, surrounding the headquarters Xian Fu Xi Temple and Wei Xin Shen Jia's main altar through which we make offerings to Buddhas and holy deities, light up the way for the spirits from the Ten Directions Dharma realm, pray for blazing on those who light the lanterns, and illuminate the way for people who pay a visit here. This year, we are going to light the lanterns of 72 heavenly masters on the lunar double second, as the dragon raises its head. Thus, Volunteers have been busy with the layout at Thousand Buddha Stand Hall recently. After the volunteers confirmed names on the roll, they tied the name plates and tassels to the lanterns. Shortly after working together to have 2,000 lanterns completed, the volunteers replaced the old ones with the Yin Ye lanterns of 72 Heavenly Masters. The previous lanterns with the heavenly masters blazing for a whole year will be distributed to the virtuous cultivators who made the offering. 
Some were hand the lantern in front of their house, piously inviting the heavenly masters to their home and watch over their family. Still, others offer the lanterns to the public. Virtuous cultivators who come to Xianfoshi Temple are welcome to e key publishing house, where you can take the lanterns home to bless your family with safety. Wei Xin Report, Headquarters, Xianfoshi Temple. It's time for a Weixin Shenjiang feature story. My colleague is here to share with you the real story of how to utilize Yijin Feng Shui in our daily lives. Please enjoy the story of this week. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Yi Fo. Welcome for watching Weixin Shenjiang feature story. Today, we are talking about the story of a Buddhist nun seeking help from Yijin divination. Over 10 years ago, there was a cultivator who had been practicing Buddhism at home many years. Her husband failed in his business and carried a heavy debt. Creditors often visited their home for looking to recover debts. This old woman was suffering from debt recovery and decided to become a Buddhist nun. She thought it was an end. One day, she found someone standing outside the gate of convent gate when sweeping leaves inside. After looking at it closely, it was one of her creditors. This creditor said to her, Amitofo, you made your escape secretly and caused me suffering. How dare you live better than me? She pleased with this creditor for an extension of the grant period and promised to do her best to repay the debt. At that time, this Buddhist nun was really unable to cover her debt. In order to keep her creditors at bay, she moved to a new Buddhist temple, but she was found by another creditor within one month. She felt very tired and frustrated after moving to four different Buddhist temples. There was one disciple suggested her to meet Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi. After knowing what difficulties she faced, Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi helped to perform a Yijin divination. The result of the divination was people can only have a clear conscience to practice Buddhism. She asked for advice from Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi on how to solve her financial problems instead of giving up her monastic vows as she had been Buddhist nun. Looking at her mind with hesitation, Grandmaster Huyuan Chan Shi got one divination again. Wang Chan Lao Zhu instructed her to a Buddhist temple located in the mountains region of North Taiwan, where predestined fellow cultivators will support her. After five to six years, she returned to Xianfosi Temple to express gratitude to Wang Chan Lao Zhu's instruction. She told Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi that the Buddhist temple in the mountains region of North Taiwan had many reverently disciples. She recited scripture on behalf of disciples and accepted their donations in return. And then she was able to pay her debt with a little bit money every month. After several years, she finally clearing all her debt. Due to various factors, disciples stopped making offerings when she paid off her whole debt which was quite amazing. She was highly appreciated the support from all Buddhas, thankful for the instruction of Wang Chan Lao Zhu, which helped her solve problems. Now, she can intensify religious practice with a clear conscience and realize the importance of right action, which mentioned in Buddhism Dharma. Grandmaster Huan Yuan Chan Shi reminds us through this case, if we want to live with a clear conscience in a mundane world, the first step is to follow Buddha's teaching, right action, which is one of Eightfold Noble Path. Right action teaches us carry out for a legitimate interest, perform equitable conduct. If those debtors who refuse to pay a debt, since you couldn't maintain serene mind, no wonder you neither perform virtuous practice nor to deeper state of meditation successfully. If our conscience are clear, we could have peaceful mind. As long as we keep our heart be peaceful, we are easy to deeper state of Chan meditation, 
while performing virtuous practicing. Let's all follow the story today. Thanks for watching our program. We wish all of you having improvement in virtuous practicing with joining it. See you next time. Take a break. We will come back soon. TNE Branch Temple launched the Anniversary Disaster Elimination and Benediction Ritual on February 19. They prepared all kinds of flowers, fruits, incense, delicacies, and paper money to offer to the Heavenly Saints, Sages, Immortals, Deities, Buddha, and Bodhisattva, and the Seventh Flag Army of the Shen Nong Yan Emperor. The participants recited the heavenly virtue scripture of immortal master Gui Gu for the sake of disaster elimination, harvest of the year, and war peace. Chen Tishan Wei Xinsheng Dao Gangshan Branch Temple invited and merged monks to transcribe just and the benediction and disaster emanation ritual for the eighth anniversary from February 17th to 20th. Master Yuan Li, host of Gangshan Branch Temple, led virtuous pharaohs and participants to chant scriptures. They dedicate the merits to all that share a common bond, Christian directions, attain residence with Buddha, and reach enlightenment. Under the guidance of Master Yuan Li, lotus seeds will set respectfully, and participants join the chanters in chanting the heavenly virtual scripture of immortal Master Gui Gu and the wonton large profound scripture. Religion's rites were performed to show gratitude towards heaven's blessings and to invite all spirits across the three realms to listen to scriptures, receive offerings, and reach Buddhist enlightenment. The ritual also invites the heavenly saints, dignities, and Buddhas to descend radiantly upon the order. Eliminate disasters and best blessings to the nation, the branch temple, and all households. Motivated by the spirit of giving, accordingly to the three types of dana, all virtuous pharaohs voluntarily helped with the preparation. Manpower was assigned to various texts, including setting up the order, flower and fruit offerings, and dharma instruments. Though Epidemic control measures led to some inconvenience. Volunteers still attended to reach tested devotedly to ensure the success of the ritual. All wishes to the merciful Buddha and dignities to resolve grievances and cease the epidemic as soon as possible so that all can return to normalcy. Volunteers offering cured food and drama boats were also prepared at the branch temple for spirits cross ten directions. It is a generous and indiscriminating gesture of giving to all sentient beings, praying for Buddhas to bestow care upon them both the Monday world and the underworld. The final rite was to feed and transcend the spirits. Local dignities and wonder results with the territory to the pure land, relying upon the majesty of Buddha. It is a hope that everyone is safe and every household happy and bright. Illuminated by Buddha's radiance, enlightenment is reached, and offerings are multiplied by three thousand for all sentient beings to be exonerated, given and soft and transcend to the pure land. Wei Xin report, Xu Shu Qing, Fan Ji Ren, Gangshan Branch Temple. Now, we have more news from Gangshan Branch Temple. This year, Gangshan Branch Temple is celebrating its eighth anniversary. For celebration and expressing gratitude to the grace of Buddha, Gangshan Branch Temple launched the eighth anniversary disaster elimination and penetration ritual. Let's watch some of the footages from the event 
and together we pray for the termination of plagues, the prosperity of all industries, and world peace. On February 19th, Tian Yi Branch Temple launched the anniversary disaster elimination and benediction ritual where Master Yuan Meng, Dean of Weixing Shenjiao Chanting College, and the chanters presided at the altar. Master Yuan Dao, host of Tian Yi Branch Temple, and Master Yuan De led virtuous cultivators to piously invite Wang Chan Lao Zhu, Shen Nong Yan, Emperor, and all heavenly sages, Buddhas, and Bodhisattvas to descend to the altar. The spirits in the three realms and ten Dharma directions, the local and central spirits, and the spirits of the Seven Flag Army had been surmounted in the ritual to receive the feasted Dharma offering. Weixing Shen Jiao Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi represented the Lord of Heaven to attend the ritual, burn the incense, and worship all heavenly sages on the afternoon of February 20th. Grandmaster Wen Yuan Chan Shi instructed the sacred revelation from Shen Nong Yan Emperor to virtuous cultivators that the Dharma rain was the auspicious sign of eliminating the disasters and epidemics. Grandmaster Hu Yuan Chan Shi also encouraged all Weixing cultivators to recite the scriptures and make offering to resolve grievances and eliminate disasters. Virtuous cultivators of Tian Yi Branch Temple prepared abundant vegetarian feast offerings to all heavenly sages and the spirits through the divine power of Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. Each grain was turned into numerous ones and helped those spirits from the three realms and the ten Dharma directions to get rid of hunger. The merits of scripture recitation and ritual support had been dedicated to all ancestral spirits, the underworld and the human world. Despite the cold snap with freezing rain, all virtuous cultivators' hard work and dedication made the ritual a great success. Weixin Report, Liu Pingchen, Hemin, Tian Yi Branch Temple. Thank you for tuning in today. Please always keep the pandemic prevention code in mind where you face masks. Have your hands washed and no touching the eyes, nose, and mouth, and keep your social distancing. May COVID-19 subside soon. Please stay tuned at 1130 p.m. on every Monday and 1130 a.m. and 4 p.m. of the local time in Taiwan on every Tuesday on Weixin TV. Wang Chai Lao Tzu bless you. See you next week. <laughs>